This is the Kontula Elderly Care Center in Helsinki, Finland. It's only recently opened and boasts new technologies that make living and working here a pleasure. The MFIT's non-contact vitals monitoring is just one of many of these and is installed in all 152 beds on six different floors. Welcome to Kontula's Elderly Care Center. Let's have a look around, shall we? We're headed to the sixth floor to see the MFIT safe bed system in action. We're going to meet Heike of MFIT and ask a few questions. Hey, Alison, you made it. Nice it's to a see bit you. Nasty, nasty weather, but uh, welcome. That's all right. It's sunny inside. Actually, Alison, what do you think if we uh, first go and take a look at one of the rooms and uh, then we return here to the nurse station? Sure, that'd be okay. fine. The Kontula Elderly Care Center aims to keep the atmosphere as unobtrusive as possible. This means no flashing lights or audible alarms. The rooms are private, and every aspect of the ward is homey and comfortable. Uh, can you show me a little bit about how this works and uh, where the sensors are and, and whatnot? Yes, sure. Here on the wall we have attached our uh, monitor. Mm -hmm. uh, on top of here we have uh, the nurse buttons. Yeah. And uh, under the mattress, we have our uh, special bed sensor. It notices uh, person heart rate, respiratory rate, all movement activity, mm -hmm. person presence in bed, uh, when person leaves the bed. Mm -hmm. The system notices uh, if they have, for example, uh, some, some uh, customers, they can use a delay that they can leave the bed at night, but should return within a, some preset time, mm -hmm. so they can use that uh, timing also. Mm -hmm. But basically here, uh, normal, normal case is that it alerts nurses immediately when they leave the bed. That means in about three seconds, actually. Okay. Is, uh, is that a normal net cable there attached to it? Yes. Uh, this is, the system is connected to the Ethernet, so uh, the facility here, uh, all the all the rooms they have a connection to the network, mm -hmm. and uh, that's how the system works over the over the local area network. Great. Now it's time for questions and answers. Where can safe bed IP be used, and for what populations? Our uh, system can be used, for example, hospitals, nursing homes, assisted living facilities, and even home care. I've heard that MFIT is one of the major manufacturers for uh, epileptic seizure alarms. Uh, can SafeBed IP be used to help persons with uh, epilepsy? Yes, it can. Uh, we have inbuilt here the same features as our epileptic seizure alarm has. I mean, uh, when a person in bed has a tonic-clonic seizure, it involves uh, faster movements. And when these movements continue over preset time, the system can send alarm. Can safe bed IP be used for research purposes? Yes, it can be used for uh, research purposes. Our system can be uh, installed to hundreds, thousands, even tens of thousands homes. And the data of, uh, of the time when the person is sleeping, heart rate, respiratory rate, movement activity, a couple other things, even heart rate variability, uh, we can calculate this and, and move the data over the internet to a database. And this could be used, for example, for a medicine, uh, athlete, and for example, sleep research. Can you tell me how this system has helped you? The residents in our ward are dementia patients, and all of them are able to walk. At night, the system sends alarms to our cordless phones when the resident leaves their bed. If the resident needs assistance, we can go and help them immediately. If we know, however, that the patient can move fairly well on their own and is capable of using the restroom, we can set a delay on the alarm and give them time to get back to their beds. Uh, if they're out of their bed, for example, over 10 minutes, it's possible that the patient might have fallen or something else might have happened to them. An alarm will be sent to us and we can assist them as needed. Thank you very much for your time. MFIT SafeBed IP is not only for dementia patients. SafeBed IP has been developed and designed to meet many kinds of needs for passive patient monitoring. Besides heart and respiratory rate per minute, its output to SQL database includes things like sleep apnea events, heart rate variability, 
ballistocardiogram and respiratory movement strengths, as well as movement activity, which could be used, for example, for tracking how a person's wellness develops during a period of physiotherapy or a change in medication. As all data can be saved to an SQL database over the Internet, it is possible to build up large amounts of data. Currently, the system is going into clinical validation, and once completed, adjustable alarms for high and low heart and respiratory rates will be included, and the system would be classified as Medical Device Class 2B. It would then be possible to make the system available for post-surgical operation monitoring, for example. For at-home monitoring, SafeBit IP could be helpful to diabetic persons, as according to several clinical research publications, a person's heart rate can rise significantly upon a bout of hypoglycemia. All right, indeed. Thanks a lot. If you'd like to know more about MFIT systems, visit their website at mfit.com.